Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. This is St. Louis Track Walk, catching up with BTO KTM, Matt Gerke. Matt, you've had good results lately, a couple of top tens, seem to be getting back into form. What's been the difference? Yeah, uh, the main difference is getting the pens out of my finger. That messed me up the whole beginning of the season. I got those out right before Daytona. I got my last pen out, and then I got a top ten there, and felt good ever since. Now that I, can, I got some movement in it. So it's going good, and hopefully I'll keep going up from here. How challenging was it to have to clutch with a different finger? That was hard, really hard, especially on Supercross, because you have to use the clutch a lot. Was, I mean, a lot of times I'd just not use it, and then trying to use my middle one when I'm not used to that was hard. Now I've switched to just using two, and that's almost as good as one. I've gotten comfortable with it, so that works. How about the mental side of this year? You had to have pretty high expectations after last season coming in. How do you get back into that same realm you were in in 2013? Yeah, it was really tough mentally. I mean, I knew I was hurt, but just doing bad all season, just trying to hang in there. And uh, I just kept pushing and working. And uh, lately, things are coming together, and now I'm starting to do good again. You've had an opportunity to go through a little bit of this track, big, long rhythm section behind us. Give us your impressions. Uh, I've only looked at the rhythm section, but it looks good. Uh, triple, quad, double, I think, or something like that. So. Calling the quad right now? Uh, yeah, I think that's the only option <laughs> to go fast. How about the support of your team this year? It's been Andrew Short for the entire season this year and, and a good, solid group. What does that support mean for you? Uh, it's awesome. They've The whole team has helped me to get back up there, too, like to do it fast since my injury. Uh, I've been actually training at Andrews for the past three weeks, which is helping a lot. And I couldn't thank my team enough. Everybody on it has been so supportive and helpful. And I just hope I can get some good results from here on out for them. You've been on the KTM now for a couple of seasons, and it seems like a bike that is getting better. Yeah, the bike's great. I can't complain at all. I like it. Um, it's good. All right, expectations tonight? Top 10 again? Top 5? Uh, definitely top 10, but yeah, I'd like to get in the top 5. That's my main goal. So we'll see.